Hello, beautifuls. How are you? Welcome to Ascended Stars. Happy Monday. It's a moony Monday, like cancer season. Welcome. Okay, cancer season has no reason. <laughs> Everything is so confusing because we're in our feelings. All right, so I just did this spread and um i don't know what's going on i just said let's just see what's going on like you know what's what let's and then i bet i was like oh no i kind of feel like i got myself in a little bit of a pickle you know just kept going so i was like you know what let's stop let's save this juicy energy for my collective okay so let's see what we have let's take a gander look oh i wonder why i would say gander okay what i loved was that it came out with prosperity you can't beat that. You got prosperity over here. Prosperity's in the house. Huh? Up, up, up. We're going up, up, up. Okay. Then this is what this is what like I'm like wait is okay. I kept pulling because I combined the the two decks. Okay, it doesn't matter. But look what I got. Orphan. So it's kind of weird to get prosperity and then orphan. All right. Now, you, I know you guys are all looking over here, but follow me, okay? Yoga, which I love this energy. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. So, this is about active, concentrated consciousness and movement in that. That's what I consider yoga, y'all. Yeah, that's how I consider yoga. My new definition for yoga, no. But, I, I mean, I'm just saying the energies. Be, to, to what? To give us strength, okay? To strengthen our ligaments, our muscle, to tone. Oh boy, do I know about that right now. I swear, the spirit is so funny. Okay, protected. So that was our first row. But then the second row is battles and wars. Okay? So I'm just giving you the info as to what's happening. And then um, y'all can here hold on we don't want to do that just want to put a little background noise i don't know why it's like the, la the fast ones i don't even want the fast ones okay we're gonna okay i'm sorry because um it's kind of loud over here on my end so listen to this so we have orphan and wars and battles like this And so what the channeling is, is we have a past life connection where what I feel is like this person has been in this lifetime feeling like an orphan, take it as it resonates, and they have had to battle a lot of wars and <laughs> battle, yeah, literally, they've had to be in a battle and wars all their life, and they feel like they're not connected or they're not really with anybody, they feel beat up, okay, this is a very beat up, beat up energy, all right? So this person is finally getting back to center, finally realizing, you know, I gotta, I, I really have to do something about this because I'm so wounded, so wounded here from my past. And so they've decided to make this, okay, this is the active act, um, energy right now. They've decided, they're deciding at this time, this current event, this is a, a random read of like the consciousness right now. And it takes strength because um they 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 may not be eating okay they may be going two three days maybe they didn't eat this weekend you know because they're in this wounded place of uh the battle within them so this could be they could be not wanting to feel this energy using substances to um escape to not feel to not be in this orphaned energy okay so this is a, a turn of events because they want their prosperity but they're really seeing that there's an issue here emotionally, okay? And this is very, very much in tune with our Cancer New Moon. Whoever's going through this change right now is protected, okay? They're protected. Spirit is protecting them. Their ancestors is protecting them. From what? A fucking karmic relationship, okay? They're battling somebody, okay, um, who who is got a hold on them right now, and it makes the, it makes them feel 
um, a, like they're in the, they're in a, they might, somebody might be in a connection that they feel like an orphan, even in this connection. Okay. It's it, all these feelings are building up. Okay. So I go through different stages of, of messages. Sometimes it could be like one mess, you know, I, I just throw them all out <laughs> because it's, it's the way the messages come channeled. All right. So, uh, let's look at this came out peace having to make a decision okay so somebody is stuck from this this is what the future holds for them but this is uh the choice that they have to make to get out of this karmic situation okay to get out so they have to make a choice here to get it should be this way but it doesn't matter on your side but they have to escape the karmic situation they have to make the choice and choose prosperity they have to choose love they have to choose to move on okay so this is um what the current energies are in that one just fell out by itself but i don't see let's see what i mean i do see let's see what energies want to come out okay ah! I'm gonna, sorry i was gonna drop the uh i was gonna drop the what do you call it the tablet all right so let's see here um let's look at orphan this is the return to spirit deck so let's look at orphan what is this about now this is a past life okay these are the past life cards so this is like uh there this is this is very destined very we're in saturn retrograde so we're in a very destined type of energy here this was meant to be they were meant to heal this wound of orphan yeah everything's in right order wow that's awesome Okay, everything's in right order so even though it feels like you're abandoned and you're not really in a place of happiness um, this is due for a reason to heal this to heal this to heal that wound what else do we need to know how about battles and wars the psyche deck for battles and wars psyche deck for battles and wars they have a battle within themselves they're at a war with spirit there is spiritual war <laughs> wow what the heck that's what i picked now now yep they're now currently in this energy this is the now energy i kept saying that i was like this is what's happening now like i felt like spirit was saying yeah this is what the really pretty much <laughs> they don't talk like that okay, that's my words okay let's see um let's get some more info on yoga and strength Okay, I want to, no, hunger. We'll definitely want to check out hunger. What's going on with hunger? But this doesn't feel like the deck they want me to use. Ah, I got it. I got it. Okay, so this is the deck right here. We're going to use the shot, um, the discovery deck. This little deck is from my, my Etsy, not my Etsy shop, but just the Etsy shop. I don't even know where I got it, to be honest with you, but I love it. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay. So... The battle is um, the doubt that they carry within them and probably the past d disappointment and regret. And let's see what this is. Energy bonds. Okay, this is the energy bonds. All right. So they come into every relationship with doubt, regret, and disappointment. They are so already like attached. They're energetically attached to like disappointment and that it's not going to work out. So it's really hard for them to make choices and to move forward. You know, I don't know. It's a funky song right there. It's all weird. Okay. So this is what what they're current currently battling. So let's see what the strength. Now with the strength, um, I'm just gonna use another one of these here. So, oh wow. Intuition. This person has hardened their heart. Okay, this is the King of Swords. They've hardened their heart and they are trying to live their best truth. But in order to do that, they had to like not feel, you know, because he's an air sign. So they're very logical, uh, very practical. And they're moving in a most logical, practical way. But Spirit's trying to guide them. Now, if you see in this deck, which I love, his throne is made of feathers, air, element. So he's he's spiritually guided. He's If he allows himself, okay, Aquarius energy. This is very much a great representation of the king of um, swords via the Aquarius route, okay? Why? Because my my um, conclusion and uh, investigation in 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 how the Aquarius energy moves is basically that 
Aquarius energy, meaning you have a lot of Aquarius in your birth chart or your sun, moon, wherever the big placement is. When in that house, when you close your eyes and you focus, you really can manifest because when you meditate, all of a sudden you get the epiphanies. The what? What? The epiphanies. Right here. Okay. Shocking, um, innovative information here coming. It's not, it doesn't have to be shocking, but it's just sudden, sudden, sudden. That's what I'm trying to say. Sudden information coming in. Boom, boom, boom. So if this person meditates, okay, so we have somebody that feels like an, uh, an orphan. So we're looking at the masculine template. Uh, and so they have to really focus and get into themselves. And then they will have the, the best idea that comes from heaven, comes from the gods to give him enlightenment. All right. That's what the energy we're at right now. And that's where he's choosing what is the best option for their future, right? We're thinking of future energy. And they are protected. They are protected. So this is why they're protected. Um, they're getting illumination from spirit. They're getting the downloads. They're getting where to go. The the, the path is being enlightened, lit, lit. The path is being lit, okay? So it's taking them the strength to do this. But again, they can focus if they're meditating, if they're being, they're being kind of obliged to be in a meditative state, you know, and not to push things along there. And cancer does that to you. It makes you very receptive. It makes you want to go inward, be in your home, be in a safe place, be cocooned, be in a cave, man cave, woman cave, whatever that may be. Okay. So, um, what do they want to tell you? Let's just figure out what they want to tell uh, whoever's watching this reading, perhaps waiting, perhaps wondering, perhaps thinking, who is, you know, what, what, what are they going through? You know, that maybe you're not connected or you're just wondering how they feel, how they feel about you. Let's get some uh, messages on the energy, the now energy, the now energy. They're going through a lot, okay, obviously, but they're coming to something, um, they're coming to some conclusions and let's see what's running through their head to make these this, this correct decision for them. You know, they want peace. They definitely, they're looking for peace. They want to make a choice that will reflect the peace in their life. And right now, they don't feel prosperity, but they're healing, and but they're very conflicted, okay? They're very conflicted right now. So they're, again, these two are time to decide and peace. So make a decision based on your heart's true desires, okay? So this is their heart's true desires. What is their heart speaking to them of? And uh, the higher ups, please, spirit, can you connect us to the higher ups and what the heart is speaking right now to this orphan energy that is really battling making the right choices for themselves, spirit? Please let us know. Please share with us the, the messages that their heart is uh, telling them so they can make the best choices at this given time. There's a lot coming through. Okay, well, all of those. Let's see. Oh, discernment. <laughs> best advice ever okay spirit is telling them dude do that you better have discernment this time it says you are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion this is what spirit is working on them with <laughs> so let me just turn this in. okay this we could play it without and okay sorry so this is beautiful sorry for the interruption next energy is they're turn they're learning to detach they're learning to detach from this toxic karmic energy bonds okay that's what they're currently doing so this is why you have to be patient be kind be gentle on yourself the more you love yourself and you're like bringing love and saying i love being in the now and where how far i've gone and where i'm going and all of a sudden that's a cord that attaches that's attached to your beautiful mate that is completely going through it right now okay they're going through it they're going through it not because they're weak but because this is what they came to do in this lifetime to get rid of this karmic ties and threads that are holding them down from being their best selves their most powerful selves their most highest um wish for their soul so that is happening there next one is integrity they need to learn integrity oh dear lord thank you 
You demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action. They're learning to walk in integrity, okay? They didn't have that before. They certainly did not have that. So, let's see. Tolerance is the next one. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get the good, good, the good sounds over here. Um, you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. This is new energy. Tolerance? Since when have, uh, you know, we've been tolerant of BS? Obviously, this person wasn't given the skill set to cope. Why? Because they were emotionally abandoned. They were, they were emotionally abandoned. So, I think this is more for... I really think this is more for who's watching the reading than the one, than this is what they're, well, it could be both. I mean, obviously coming to a term, coming to this place of detachment, it's like you lose, okay, this is what it is. When you get to a place of detachment, okay, it means that you're, you're ready to accept the person for who they are, not wanting to change them, not saying, okay, I need you to do this so I can be happy or, um, or I'm going to conform myself and walk on eggshells around this energy because they might just blow up or do something or not be happy or criticize me. So I'm going to contort my energy around this energy. So that's not tolerance, right? You're, 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 you're changing your vibe to be around somebody just to be around them. So you, this is what you're learning. Like, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to, or why do I do that? Why do I tolerate that? Why do I tolerate the BS? Why do I tolerate their behavior that I shouldn't be tolerating it? Boom, and got to detach. They're learning because they had they've been always submissive, okay? They've been always conforming. They've been uh bullied into it, you know, uh, a little bullied. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Okay, this is so beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. They're learning to be friends with the person. Okay, they're, before it was more of a lustful control. I want, I need, you give, I take. There's more respect in this, okay? So the next connection, will they, they, they're, they're detaching because they're... they're um, <laughs> You know, this, the whole, you know what killed, you know what kills this? Friends with benefits. That's what kills this, all right? Friends with benefits, it's such an oxymoron. Like, those two words should not be even going together, okay? Um, yeah, that's what kills this energy, okay? The, the, the freaking, when was the 19, mid-80s, friends with benefits. Yeah, not, I mean, mid-90s. So, this is <laughs> killing the mid-90s vibe. <laughs> You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections, okay? So, yeah, they're learning that they were gravitating for survival, okay? I feel this is really what it is. I feel like they needed to survive and they were in a place of survival. That's why we have battles and wars here. And in a past life, they just were aggressive and they just, maybe they killed a lot of people. And this is the karmic things that they need to go through, you know. I'm just saying, I mean, I don't want to go through all these scenarios. It's kind of morbid. But um, this is where you're, you're at. This is what's happening. Once all these things are evolved, I'm going to take some time here. We're going to have some prosperity coming down the line for some people. but And some peace. Okay, peace and prosperity. Oh, I'm going to title this Peace, Prosperity, and pro um, Protection. There we go, the three Ps, PPP, all right? So, my loves, that's what I got. I don't think I want to dig into this anymore. I think it's just a little a little kind of snapshot. You know, it's a Polaroid of the now energy. <laughs> so, right, I'll put a Polaroid of the now energy, peace, prosperity, and protection. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Bye for now.